Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about women and the role that they have, which is a helper or a helpmate. And I feel like there is such a bad stigma around those two things. As if being a helper and being a helpmate is a bad thing and not good enough. Being a helper does not mean that you're any less effective or powerful or important in the kingdom. Absolutely not. We're necessary. If we weren't necessary, God wouldn't have created us. And also, if there wasn't a distinction in the roles, there would be only one gender. But there's two different ones for a reason. You know, we're created equal, but distinct. We're different. We have different strengths and weaknesses. We have different... Um, and the way we're built is different. Um, and God created us to be different and to serve a bit differently and it's a beautiful thing to be a helper you know we're there to exhort to build up to encourage to help <laughs> to love to care and to serve and it's such a beautiful thing you know and we're also supposed to be submissive as well and a lot of women have a problem with being submissive but submission does not make you any less or inferior you know in um, first Peter three, it says in the same way you wives be submissive to your own husbands, subordinate, not as inferior, but out of respect for the responsibilities entrusted to husbands and their accountability to God. And so partnering with them so that even if some do not obey the word of God, they may be won over to Christ without discussion by the godly lives of their wives. When they see your modest and respectful behavior together with your devotion and appreciation, Love your husband, encourage him, and enjoy him as a blessing from God. So you are to love and encourage. Your adornment must not be merely external, and with interweaving and elaborate nodding of the hair and wearing gold jewelry or being superficially preoccupied with dressing in expensive clothes, but let it be the inner beauty of the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality and unfading charm of a gentle and peaceable spirit, one that is calm self-controlled, not over-anxious, but serene and spiritually mature, which is very precious in the sight of God. So, yes, meek, gentle, um, peaceable. These are important things, you know, and we don't really see that in the world and even um, that has crept into some churches with loud, noisy women and women that want to rule over men and have charge over men. It's not biblical. I don't see that in the word of God. And, you know, we have to obey this. And really, it does not make you less. You are not inferior for serving and being submissive. You know, you're submissive in the workplace, your boss. It doesn't mean that you are subhuman and that you deserve any less than they deserve. You know, and serving a husband and serving men is not... A shameful thing it's a beautiful thing it's something that is needed and necessary and you know serving goes hand in hand with love you know if we love people we should want to serve them willingly you know Jesus deserved all of the servitude and he himself chose to serve and if Jesus served if it was good enough for him surely it's good enough for us you know it's a beautiful thing to be a helper you know, so let us just pray and, and seek God on this and ask him what it means to be a woman of God and ask him, God, what does it look like to be a helper? What does that mean? What does it mean to be submissive? And, and he will show you these things, you know, God's been working in me so much lately in that area and just showing me um, what it really looks like to be a woman of God. Um, because it's easy to desire other things and, and want, um, another role, but we have to stick to scripture. We have to stick to scripture and yes, it's not a bad thing to be a woman. It's a beautiful thing to be a woman. And just remember that and stay encouraged and really just seek God on that and seek God and ask him to show you your role and show you what it means that he will show you. He will reveal it. Remember, 
We are equal but distinct, you know? It's a beautiful thing.